So I'm sewing it into place, which a normal sewing machine can't do. So uh, I like sewing, but I like sewing big things. Like oh. So what I found was I was causing way too much damage to my wife's sewing machine with my projects. So I went and found uh, actually an old school leather sewing machine. Which it, which it turns out I can't break, so that's a plus. But I also couldn't use it because trying to crank the crank and hold the thing, I, would, it, I wasn't able to use it. So I decided to take some parts from an old 3D printer that I had, and and so set it set it up so that it will it's powered, but it has enough smarts to know when the needle is at the top, when it's at the bottom of the stroke, so that it can stop at the right spot when the when, when the seam is finished or when it's ready to rotate and make a, make a turn smoothly. So what I'm using it for today is sewing um, heavy industrial Velcro onto a bag. So I'm sewing it into place, which a normal sewing machine can't do, but this one has no trouble with it because in fact, it can also sew a vinyl strip to a piece of plywood. <laughs> I mean, I, it's kind of blown my mind a little bit. So this, like the add-on kit to to um, to electrify it, is my design. The fact of the matter is, I wouldn't sell this. However, um, I fully plan to share my software, my and my design 